All right, so before I begin this video, I want to let y'all know I will be live for the Pistons pregame at 3 o'clock for a live stream, and then I will be live for a postgame after the game is finished. <laughs> So before I get into all the information, I did not know that we were continuing training camp and still going to get media days like this now because, you know, I thought since we were in the preseason, we wouldn't have a training camp of sorts, but we still have a training camp, so I'm still going to be reporting on this. So, so I'm going to play you guys a clip now. Please excuse the instrumental. I can't get rid of the instrumental in the background. This was just uploaded by the Detroit Pistons official YouTube channel. It's going to be a clip of Sadiq Bey, uh, Dwayne Casey. Derek Rose and Killian Hayes are all going to be speaking. This was right after the game. And um, yeah, I'm just going to play the clip. Now, the thing is, I have made some changes to the clips. Now, I will no longer be playing the videos. I will only be playing the audio from now on to avoid copyright issues. So let's play the clip. Typical uh, exhibition game, first game, first time guys have played in forever. I liked our effort. We just got to play smarter and take care of the ball. I thought the young group came in and played fantastic. Saban Lee came in, set the tone. Uh, Sadiq Bey did a heck of a job, not just his scoring, just defensively, his compete level. Sadiq, he did great tonight, but um, he kept shooting the ball, of course, because he's a he's a threat from the outside. And uh, I just love the way that he played this game. Like, man, he, he, could, he could score, so you got to respect that. You know, it was just exciting. It was more exciting than anything uh, because we haven't played, I, I, mean, I personally haven't played since, what, February? So it's been so long, so I was just grateful to be out there. You know, I got to just go back and see, you know, what I did and if that could help the team, what we did so we could, you know, win the next one. So that's how I felt about it, just trying to win. Killing has to just relax and just play. He's he's wound tight and a little tightened up tight. And again, that'll come. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's typical first exhibition game for him. I mean, it felt good just being back on the floor, being able to play, run up and down the floor. Um, I know I did a lot of mistakes and like there's a lot of things I need to learn still but I need to be careful with those mistakes. Yeah. I'm happy it's still a preseason game but I got to do better. So it's kind of hard uh, to, to, to find an identity when it's um, you only have like a week to really hoop so uh, we just trying to keep our heads up, keep our spirits up and just know that if we put that effort out there every night it's going to um, go our way. All right, so in the comment section below, let me know how y'all feel about all of that. Let me know how you feel about the players and what they said, um, especially Killian Hayes about what he was saying. But the first thing, you know, in today's media day, we were we heard from Sfima Kyluk. So Sfima Kyluk, the first question that he was asked, do you feel that you need to shoot more? You know, um, last night's game, he shot very well. And the question was asked to him, does he feel like he needs to shoot more? Did Dwayne Casey tell him that he needs to shoot more? Let's play the audio. Uh, I would say just... Not only me, but everybody got to take a right shot. And uh, for players who can't shoot, obviously we want them to shoot. But uh, you know, everybody going to find themselves in a position as an open shot. So I feel like uh, everybody got to think they take good shots and uh, I'm trying to make it. Yeah, so from what he said, it sounds like he's a modest guy when it turns to like when it comes to shooting. Like it sounds like he will shoot if he feels like it, but it doesn't seem he doesn't seem like a guy who'll take a lot of threes. And me personally, you know, after seeing what I saw last night and from what I know from the history of him over the years in his career, he's a pretty good three point shooter. We know that as a fact. And I, honestly, I want him to shoot more. I, I really want him to shoot a lot more than what he did yesterday. Even though I know, you know, you don't want a guy ever jacking up threes. And I'm not saying I want him just jacking up threes. And I'm not saying he needs to just keep shooting if he's not making it. But, you know, take seven, eight a night. You know, I want him to shoot a lot more. I want him to get more opportunity. I also want him to give him a lot more minutes. You know, take away the Rodney Magruder's, the, the Wayne Ellington. Take away some of their minutes and give it to Sfima Kyluk. And that's all that I got from Sweet Makai Luke Media Day because his was only about three minutes long and that was basically the only the only main takeaway I got from that. So the next person that we need to talk about is Dwayne Casey. He had his media day. Okay, so he was gonna be he's gonna be asked, you know, what was his initial thoughts after last night's game and will he be changing and switching up the rotations? And before I play the audio, I wanna say, you know, just in general, I do wanna see a bit more changes in the rotation. Now I remember in a live stream I was talking to one of y'all, one of y'all said one of the issues you have with Casey is that his lineups are all the are always you know too out there he's always changing and switching things and I feel you on that a little bit but me personally you know we're still in the preseason I know we're going into the regular season very soon but for preseason game two against the Knicks I want to see you know Musa I want to see Jello you know we just got I, I got I have to see what these guys have their readers to readers I just I want them to get at least five minutes put them in just at least at the end of the fourth quarter I have to see a little bit of what they can do so play the audio of him explaining 
what the rotations will be and his general thoughts after last night's game. We'll do that. I have try to have different combinations, different people on the floor. Uh, but again, it's, it's continuum of training camp. The guys getting used to each other. Uh, some a lot of our turnovers, guys were expecting some guys to zig and they zagged and just getting all the, that out of our system. And, and that's going to be a process. Uh, and I will say this about the young guys. It's, it's a growth mentality with those guys continue to grow and get better, get to know each other. But one great thing about the all the young players, they, they did everything hard. And when you do that, when you do things hard, whether it's transition defense, pick and roll defense, or guarding in the half court, good things will happen. And uh, I'm not worried about the shooting. The shooting will come. I thought we had good shots. Uh, we had 51 opportunities where we could have had assists and we just missed the shot. So we were making the right passes and the right plays, but we just got to be able to knock them down and that, and that will come. Okay, so the next question that he was asked, he was asked about how he felt Jeremy Grant played last night. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts before I play the audio. So Jeremy Grant, I feel like he played very well on the defensive end of the floor, but offensively, he couldn't hit a three. He couldn't hit a mid-range jumper. It just wasn't there offensively, but he will get better. He was a bit rusty. He can only go up from here. So let's play the audio by Dwayne Casey. No, uh, well, yeah, he missed some open looks. And again, I, you know, he's a c career uh, high 33 point shooter. And so that, that doesn't bother me at all. I had good look. My main thing, Ansar, is taking the right shots. And we took the right shots. Uh, matter of fact, we want to get the corner threes up some more. We turned down some shots that we had that we normally take. And again, like I told them, they work on those shots every day, take them. And, uh, you know, our shot spectrum is, is there are certain shots we put a, we prior to, prior, we put a priority on. And uh, we did that and just didn't knock him down. And as long as you do that, good thing, the percentages is going to come your way. The right people are taking the right shots in the right areas. Uh, and so, you know, you have to trust that, you know, the, the work you put in for those shots. And so he and Blake, you know, go, him going to what it was two for 11 or Blake going whatever he went for, that doesn't bother me whatsoever because those guys knock them down every day in practice. They were knocked them down all summer. So just in general, Jeremy Grant will play better. He will improve. Do not expect that to be the same Jeremy Grant we see for the rest of the season or the rest of this preseason. So the next question he was asked was about DeLon Wright and his general thoughts about DeLon Wright last night. So my general thoughts before I play the audio about DeLon Wright's game last night was DeLon Wright, um, you know, I projected him to be in the starting lineup. I projected Killian Hayes, DeLon at the two, uh, Jeremy Gunn at the three, Blake at the four, and Plumlee at the five. I projected that, but I did not like the way that the, I did not like the way the lineup was playing last night. They didn't really have the chemistry yet. And obviously it's the first preseason game. They're not gonna have chemistry like that. So let's play the audio. And Dwayne Casey is gonna tell you what his thoughts were about DeLon Wright's game last night. No question. Uh, he, he's a security blanket, you know, for, for Killian, for everybody. Because he's that second pick and roll guy. And, you know, we may look at someone else in that position just to see what it looks like and in different positions tomorrow night, just to kind of see what certain guys look like. And uh, again, I, I thought, you know, DeLon again turned down some three point shots that he's got to take and normally takes and, and can take. So, uh, but it is the push and pull of well, do you put a, a defender in that position? Do you put a shooter in that position? Or do you put a ball handler in that position? And, uh, it, you know, to help out that group. So, uh, again, last night, a lot of it was shot making and th that will come. You know, we knocked down, you know, who we shot with 32 percent and uh, we get that up to, you know, normal 45, 48, whatever it is. You know, we're OK. And also finishing at the rim. We finished at 50 some percent at the rim and dead point late, you know, layups. And you should that should be around 60, high 60s, 70s at the rim and we didn't finish there. So a lot of, you know, exhibition game jit the jitters or whatever you want to call it, but we got to get that out of the system. So yeah, just in general, DeLon, I feel like he, he should have shot more. He should have been more aggressive and he will be more aggressive in due time. So the next audio clip that I will be playing was again about Jeremy Grant. Now this was later in his media day. He was asked again about Jeremy Grant. Let's play the audio. In this game, you might need to iron out. No, he's, uh, believe me, his shooting, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. You know, and you're talking about the mid-range shots. We have a number on those that where we do stay efficient offensively. And we want to make sure that he has the freedom to shoot that, you know, uh, that mid-range shot. We just don't want all of them, uh, you know, uh, 
all of our shots being mid-range shots. So those he took, I think he was just trying to get his rhythm, which is fine with me. Um, so, um, he, you know, those shots. And he has some excellent looks within our offense, within the spacing, within the movement that we have. Uh, so, again, I, I just I, I'm not panicking or, or putting any thought with him and Blake shooting the ball the way they did last night whatsoever. And the so, yeah, guys, tomorrow, well, by the time y'all see this video, it will be the day of the Knicks versus the Pistons preseason game two. Um, my general, you know, what I want to see, you know, I want to see more of Isaiah Stewart. I want to see more of Sadiq Bey. I want to see Leandro Ball. I want to see Davida Servitas, Saban Lee. Uh, even, what's, his, what's the kid's name? I even want to see the Lamb kid, even though I only know that he's a good shooter. You know, Killian, he will play better, guys. I need to see some more Sekou. And just in general, we will be better, guys. We will play better. Isaiah Stewart, give him some more minutes. I like the energy out of him. Sadiq Bey, I already made a video about Sadiq Bey. Just all in all, I'm ready for tomorrow's game. I will be excited. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be ready to go. So in the comment section below, let me know how y'all feel about the Pistons. You know, our first game. Tell me how you feel about Dwayne Casey and Derrick Rose and just everybody in general. How they, you know, how they were reacting in their media days. Were they a bit too easy? Were they a bit too rough on themselves? Just let me know in the comment section below how you feel about that. Uh, thank you all for 1K. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video, I'm out.